It's a railing that held a famous hand, George Washington's. New York City was the nation's capital when Washington took the oath as the first president on April 30, 1789. The ceremony was at Federal Hall in Lower Manhattan, at the corner of Wall and Broad Streets. Federal Hall had been New York's City Hall, and the government hired French architect Pierre Charles L'Enfant to redesign the building. L'Enfant went on to design an entire city, Washington, D.C. He added an elaborate wrought iron balustrade to the facade. A balustrade is a decorative handrail. Behind it was a balcony 12 feet deep. That's where Washington stood for his inauguration. The balustrade was painted, and you can still see remnants of gold paint on it. The most distinctive feature of the balustrade is in the center, the section of 13 arrows, one for each state in the New Republic, each distinct, but all united. Federal Hall was demolished in 1812, and the balustrade was incorporated into the design of a building at Bellevue Hospital. In 1883, it was removed from that building, and this section was given to the New York Historical Society for safekeeping.